Hey friends, my name is Brianna Clark and I'm one of the NP facilitators at SMNP Reviews. Cranial nerves were a complete headache for me when I was in nurse practitioner school and I absolutely dreaded all of the cranial nerve questions. But no worries, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to help you remember those pesky cranial nerves. Remember, we are just hitting the basics here and if you want to go any in depth with this topic, definitely check out one of our review courses. First, let's start off with a basic overview of what the cranial nerves are. So these are all 12 of your cranial nerves. You have your olfactory nerve, your optic nerve, your ocular motor nerve, your trochlear nerve, your trigeminal nerve, your abducens nerve, your facial nerve, your vestibular coccular nerve, your glossopharyngeal nerve, your vagus nerve, your spinal accessory nerve, and then your hypoglossal nerve. So just make sure you're familiar with all of the names for these cranial nerves. A nice mnemonic that helps to memorize the cranial nerves is OOO to touch and feel very good velvet such heaven. And this mnemonic helps you remember the cranial nerves in the exact order as they appear. And they also use the first letter for each cranial nerves name. Next, we have to remember if the cranial nerves have sensory or motor functions. And a mnemonic to help you remember this is some say merry money, but my brother says big brains matter more. The word order mirrors the numerical order with the S standing for sensory, the M for motor, and the B for both sensory and motor. So this is a great mnemonic to definitely help you with those functions, uh, those cranial functions. Next, we have a picture of the cranial nerve face. And this is the actual drawing of a face using the cranial nerve numbers. This is a great visual tool. This drawing helps you memorize not only the location, but also the function of each cranial nerve. So we'll go through this diagram briefly here. You have cranial nerve one in place of where the nose would be as that nerve deals with smell. You have cranial nerve two in the position where your eyes would be on the face as that nerve helps with visual acuity. You have cranial nerve three which is also in the eye area, as that cranial nerve helps with eyelid movement and pupillary constriction. You have cranial nerve four, which is below your eyes, as that nerve helps move your eyes up and down. Cranial nerve five, that creates your face, as that cranial nerve helps with facial sensation and chewing. And you have cranial nerve six, which is on the sides of your eyes as that nerve helps move your eyes side to side. You have cranial nerve seven that creates the entire cranial nerve face as that nerve helps with facial expression. You have cranial nerve eight, which goes where your ears would naturally be on the cranial face diagram as this nerve helps with your hearing and balance. You have cranial nerve nine that is on your tongue as that nerve helps with taste and swallow. You have cranial nerve 10 also on your tongue as that nerve helps with movement of the vocal cords and sensation of the pharynx. You have cranial nerve 11 in the area where your shoulder would naturally be. And that is because that nerve helps with neck and shoulder movement. And lastly, you have cranial nerve 12, which is also on the tongue, as that nerve helps with tongue movement. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a great study tool for my visual learners. Another way to remember the cranial nerves and their functions are with rhymes. So you have one nose, two eyes, three, four, and six make your eyes do tricks, five rhymes with try, seven fits on your face, eight sits in your ear so you can hear, nine and 10 are under your chin, 11 makes your shoulders go to heaven, and 12 stick out your tongue because you are done.
These rhymes can help link all of this information together with your cranial nerve numbers and your functions to better help you remember them for your exams. Now that we have the cranial nerves, the names, and their functions, what tests can we do to test each of these cranial nerves function? We'll start with your cranial nerve one, your olfactory nerve. And remember, this one deals with your smell. So we can perform a sniff test to evaluate your patient's smell. This could be something as easy as having the patient close their eyes and sniff an item like coffee grounds and identify what the smell is. Cranial nerve two, your optic nerve. Remember, this deals with your vision. So we can easily test this cranial nerve by using the Snellen chart to test your visual acuity. Cranial nerve three, your ocular motor nerve. This deals with your eye movement. So this cranial nerve can be tested by performing the six cardinal gazes. You can also do perform pupillary constriction tests or you can have the patient open and close their eyes. Cranial nerve four, your trochlear nerve. This one also deals with eye movement. So this can be evaluated by the six cardinal gazes also, and you can also watch the downward and inward movement of your patient's eyes. Cranial nerve five, your trigeminal nerve. Remember, this is your facial nerve. So we can do a pinprick to test facial sensation, or we can brush a piece of cotton against the lateral cornea, the lower lateral cornea, to evaluate that corneal reflex. Cranial nerve six, your abducens nerve. This one also deals with eye movement. So we can perform a test such as the cardinal gazes again, or we can watch the lateral movement of your eyes for your patient, of, of your patient's eyes. Cranial nerve seven, your facial nerve. This deals with your face. And these control all of those cheek movements. So we can have the patient puff out the cheeks, smile, or even frown to test this cranial nerve. The next nerve, cranial nerve eight, your vestibular cochlear nerve. This can, um, this controls your nerves. This, this nerve controls hearing imbalance. So we can test this nerve by performing the whisper test. We can also do the rubber or the Rennie test, or we can even have the patient perform the Romberg test. And remember that Romberg test is gonna be dealing with your balance. And what does this nerve control? Your balance and your hearing. The next nerve, your cranial nerve nine, your glossopharyngeal nerve. This nerve does everything with swallowing. So we can test this by eliciting a gag reflex or having the patient swallow a sip of water. Your next cranial nerve, cranial nerve 10, that vagus nerve. That vagus nerve controls our peripheral nervous system, which regulates vasomotor activity of our throat muscles and reflexes. So to test this, we can have the patient cough or elicit a gag reflex or even have the patient say, ah. The next nerve, your cranial nerve 11, remember that's your spinal accessory nerve. So to test this one, we can have the patient shrug their shoulders or move their head side to side. And remember, 11 makes your shoulders go to heaven. Cranial nerve 12, your hypoglossal nerve. This controls everything with your tongue. So we need to test the tongue movement and strength. To do this, we can have the patient move their tongue side to side and press it into the side or the inside of their cheek. Okay, friends, we have now reviewed everything that you need to know about cranial nerves. And here is our image attribution for this presentation. And that's it. That's all. I hope this video helps you remember those pesky cranial nerves. Happy studying, friends. And remember, with SMNP reviews, you will pass.